I made up this mahogany beam, laminated up out of, out of four strips of 10 mil, 3 8 inch mahogany. I laminated it in position under there, just, just used the deck itself to give me the curve. Um, and now I've just planed it up, as you can tell, cleaned it up. And what's going to happen is it, I'm going to fit this in there. If you can come this way a bit, Hazel, and just see. You're going to fit in there like that, okay? Supports this four deck and gives us a fitting for the for the boards for the hatch, the upright board that's coming in here for the hatch. So I shall cut a rebate along there to accept one 10 millimeter board that will come down. The first 10 millimeter board will come down inside of there against this rebate on this beam. Um, and the second 10 millimeter board will come down and sit on there. So one will be inside, one will be in there. And I say, the first board fixed is mahogany beam, so that'll be nice and solid. Obviously we can sand that up and varnish it, it'll look nice inside. Um, so yeah, that's the thinking there. You also see that I've routed out the grooves. Actually you saw me doing that, didn't you? I filmed some routing. And I've now given them a coat of clear wet epoxy. It's dry now. So that's ready to go. Just clamp that in place just to keep it where I want it to be before I work on it. So yeah, I'm about to get to mix up some filler, get some filler in those grooves. A little hand sand off of this, so I've coated the whole four deck with one coat of epoxy which has raised the grain. Feel it feels a bit like sandpaper now. So I should hand sand that off, fill these grooves, and uh, that will be what we get done on Sunday, I think. Machines that turn wood into dust, really.
Well, something exciting has happened. Um, I went out and bought one of these electronic gimbals. So I've got it set up here with the with the little action cam on it. This is a, a Fiu Tech. I might be pronouncing it wrongly. Um, gimbal, electronic gimbal, and we've had this little eight-man action cam for a while. Fits on there beautifully. Um, and of course the goal is to try and get some smoother footage to, um, to up the quality of our videos you know it's, it's a constant constant striving to improve the quality of uh, quality of our videos so going to give this a go um, I shall switch it on in a minute we'll have a wander around the boat and I'll try to give you a guided tour of the boat so let's do a tour of the boat shall we 
we'll walk around the outside first have a look at the hull I'm casting a shadow but there we go um, starting at the bow end there's the bow just scan up and down there okay let's have a little walk around that's what she looks like if we go up give you a look over the fore deck that's the fore deck for you been coated with epoxy waiting to be glassed good now we'll wander down the port side of the boat there we are the port side walking on down towards the aft end past the raised deck frames there's the, what will be the aft deck obviously looking towards the stern post squeeze through this little gap okay Let's scan over the aft deck. Okay, so now we go around the back of the stern post, a bit of a squeeze, onto the starboard side, some to the lazarette like that, uh, and back, scanning over the aft deck. Very tight squeeze through here. Good. Now we're walking up the starboard side and back to the fore deck. So here's the forward deck. Let's scan over the forward deck for you like that the forward hatch cleats in position step up onto the forward deck and down into the fore peak and then down one more time fore peak looking quite nice ready for some finishing really that one sand up and a varnish paint whatever into the main saloon scan around there's the port size of tea under construction starboard side Nothing happening there. Companion way steps just lent there. Through into the galley area. Waiting for the galley to be constructed in here. As I've said before, nice big galley area. And we turn around, scan around. And there's the, what will be the head section. Behind this bulkhead, there will be a little quarter berth coming in there. Then we go through the engine room hatch, into the engine room. I just have a little scan around in the engine room. I've just sealed in here, so it's ready for some action. There's a scan of the engine room. Have a look at the engine room floor. Ready for the engine bed to be mounted. Well, yeah, ready for the engine bed to be mounted. Very good. And we're back out of here. Looking over the aft deck beams to the stern post. And that's the tour of the boat as she stands. We're coming. Ritz
chasing the sunset, stand there to see. Tell me where you're going so decisively. What's your destination? Tell me where you're bound. We can move together where adventures abound.